Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hunter Call the Wild, a hunt for gold. We are here in Germany, and we are going after the wild boar today. I have been told that the top left-hand corner up here where this canyon is, that this is the place to hunt wild boar and red deer. So stick around, and I hope you enjoy the video. We got a red deer standing on the... Uh, Oh, he's 205. It's 250. That uh, 251 is the is the upper limit for like diamond. He's really pretty though. That's I me. Mean, that's a side shot there. Like, why are we even why are we even thinking about that, right? Where's he at? Did he fall down right there. Yeah, there he is. Really pretty. Look how massive those are. That's 205. That's not near 250 for uh for diamond. He's gold. So freaking pretty, man. Such a beautiful, beautiful species here. Not symmetric. That's probably the the problem. If this was more symmetric, you probably would get a higher score. Super pretty. There you go. Another red deer on the books. Well, finally it's happened. I have been up and down this canyon twice. And I haven't even seen a hog seen hog footprints or had a hog yell at me until right now so thankfully and this is supposed to be hog heaven this is supposed to be where they're at so hopefully we're going to call this one in it's going to be 130 it's going to be a big old fat one we're going to shoot it right in the lung and that's going to be the end of that let's just see what happens here I tell you, from what I have seen, when you call in a hog, if you do mating, you know, they might come in pretty slow and steady. But if you were to do a distressed piglet, they come running for that, man. Thought I heard something there for a second. Happy to actually finally hear one. Like I said, I've been going up and down the canyon. And I hadn't seen hide or tail of them. Now, I still haven't seen this one technically, but I did get yelled at. So, and it was a warning call, so I had to be pretty close. And unlike fox, the uh, wild boar, they should be in a pack. So once we get the pack in our sights, we should be able to pick out which one we want and just tag that one. Instead of having to track down individual hogs. Go at it that way. Alright, I'm going to stand up right quick. Like I said, oh, right there in front of me. Good God. Seven mag. He's 98. He is not going to be enough for us. It's just one, just by himself. There's some tracks over there. Maybe that's more of the herd here. Ooh, look at you. You went down quick, son. Got to the heart. I guess that'll do it every time. He's beautiful silver. I love the color on him. That's the common fur type, but that's still really pretty. Like I said, gold is going to be 100 ish probably look for 117 just to make sure we get that uh, gold standard right just go over the 144 for diamond really pretty really pretty okay well that gets us on the scoreboard with wild hog up here and uh this is brondorf's canyon is what it's called I'm happy to see that where were those other um tracks we saw Oh, it was for the same... Nope, there they are. I should say it was for the same guy because they disappeared when he disappeared. Let's come over here right quick and see what tracks are these. Hopefully it'll be more hog. Or, I'm sorry, more wild boar. Hey, look at that. 186 kilograms. That's That seems like it's worth our time to investigate. Alright, I'll bring you back. We, um... 
back in this guy here, he has 186 kilograms mass. And uh, the poop we checked, just it said just now. So I assume that this herd is right here in front of us somewhere. And if I catch a glim glimpse of it, I'd want you here to hear with me when I do it. So I'm going to bring him back here. See if we can't get a look at these piggies we're on the trail of. I think that was one right there. I think there was one that just went into that bush. It looked like he was walking. It did not look like he was running. The only bad thing is I don't think we're going to get a wide open area to get a shot in on these guys. I think they're going to stay. <gasps> oh, we're pushing them to the... That's great. At this point now, they're going to have to either go down into this area or double back. That's perfect. Just so long as they don't double back. And they run up the side of the mountain. They can. Okay. Hmm. I feel like that right there would be the hog sign, right? How many of them there are here? I think there's about four or five individuals. I'm spamming this collar. What I want to do is I want to get them to stop moving away from me. And then and then do a warning call to me. But I feel like I feel like this herd though is just gonna keep moving away from me. I don't know what to call them. A bunch of pigs. I'm gonna keep calling it a herd. I just don't know what to call it. I don't feel like it's a pack. A pig. I don't feel like that's right. Okay. This right here is where it's going to get dicey. So we pushed them into this stone wall here. It looks like they chose to go down. Which is fine by me. I just need to catch a glimpse of them here just to get an idea about where they're going, what they're doing. Like I said, it's fine by me if they go down this, this here. I want to push them out to that lowlands. I didn't want to see them turning around and going back the way I came or, or trying to go up the side of that mountain or any of that foolishness. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get him into a situation. Is that a, is that a red fox? Oh my god, it is a red fox. Huh. That's so funny. He's right there. Or that that's something. That's a pig. That's what I was saying is that we gotta we gotta run now. He's gonna come out right there. Okay. Breathe. 111. 153. Nice. That's what I'm saying is that these they're gonna keep pushing around this little this little point. And if they get around me even more like if they if they push out even more like uh, they're going to be able to, to get out and go into this area and i don't want that i want to keep them in front of me that's probably already happened though i'm going to assume that they move as a group and that where one goes they all kind of try to follow look at that 77 I don't really want to waste my time with a 77. I just want to know where the others went. Show me 77. Where'd the others go? Let's see if there's more tracks. 
There's another one right there. 94. 77, 94. Don't really care. Is that those two again? Same ones. There's 84. No, oh, those are two new ones. 77. They're coming up out of this little area here. Looks like it. What are you? 53. Where's your friend up there? Okay. We got one down for sure. Man, what is this little area here? I thought that was going to be more cut off than it is. There's no water here. They can just... They can just... They can walk right through. This is... Happy as you please. I really thought there was going to be water there and they weren't going to be able to uh, make that turn. I was going to push them back this way. Well. <sighs> that's a little aggravating. But the moral of the story is make sure you have good maps, right? Okay. This could be our gold. I think he was like 115. I shot him. He went down immediately. It could have been a headshot. Probably is, knowing my luck. Look at those tusks. <laughs> my goodness. Come on now. If I get down there right in your old face. Those big old tusks. Man, that's good right there. Ready? Oops, I have that bug. There we go. I want a truth. <laughs> Ah, woo! There we go. It's just that easy, everybody. It's just that easy. I don't know what the problem is. I, I you know, <laughs> that's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. We use the terrain to our advantage. We came up here, took that one, started tracking the herd, and we knew that they were going to have to double back. We knew that they were going to either, when they got to this area here, they were going to have to make a decision. Unfortunately, this map isn't quite accurate, and they can move through this with no problem whatsoever. If this had been more accurate, we would have, I feel confident we would have been able to cut them off. But that's what you do. We had the lay of the land on our side. Now, we did shoot all the way over here. We did shoot another one, and I believe we hit him. Let's go over here and see if we can't find the blood trail. And, oh! Excuse me. <laughs> we don't need no stinking blood trail. He fell over graveyard dead right there, didn't he? And don't think I don't remember we have that little red fox somewhere around here. Don't think I don't know. Look at this guy here. Ooh. Who's prettier? Who's prettier? Oh, look at you laid out there. So pretty. That right there is a great picture. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's called double gold right there, folks. <laughs> I got this game figured out. I got this game figured out. Where's that red fox? I'll bring you back if I find him. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I didn't find that uh, red fox, and I even played about another hour after we did that up here um, in that canyon area, and I just didn't, I didn't run across uh, any red foxes I felt like taking. They were all that one to five kilograms, five to eight kilograms. Um, so yeah, no red fox this time, but man, we got two beautiful wild boar. Um, super happy to see that happen. What is that? Oh, it's nothing. Um, that means that we have two species down there on the books. We have, was it 25 left until we are done with this series. So excited about that. We only have one more until we're done with this park. That red Fox will be ours. Thank you guys for watching till the end of the video. I appreciate your support. Remember you got some friends and you have similar interests. Well, they'll probably like this channel too. So reach out to them on my behalf. I'd appreciate that. Hit a like and subscribe. And uh, come back for the next one. Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.